2009 was a year of wicked weather and wicked times. The UK Festival Awards pulled in a record number of votes, over half a million. Um, and tonight's the night where the winners are revealed, here at the Indigo O2, in sunny, sunny London, don't you know? I know. That's what all the ghosts do. I want to try this on. Yeah, I want to know what being a winner feels like. Whoa! <laughs> there! See that one, then? <laughs> they've, they've grown quite substantially since last year. The They're... funny thing was, the last time we won one of these, they actually came to my office and pre presented it in the office. So everything's oh. moved on so much. It's such a big show and a big production now. So, Which is great, because obviously it supports everything that people like us are wanting to do which is festivals Go on, then. okay so this is where the bands will be walking once they've uh, kind of collected their awards only winners allowed this should be called the winners tunnel good Ooh, what's under here oh, i can't tell you that otherwise i'd have to kill you you probably have a little sneak as to what's going on here so we're going to go back and look into it and find out who the winners are the awards of 2009 in the park's a major festival, 85,000 people at yeah. it, so the toilets do get dirty, but the contractors work really hard, and I think that's why we've been rewarded tonight. <laughs> Team the bar one year, there was a guy jumping on top of the portals, and he like, fell right through and then fell out the toilet door, like covered in shit, and he was lying there for <laughs> ages. So they definitely do get the best portals. Okay, um, if you hadn't have won this award, uh, what would you have done? Congratulated the other people who didn't win it and maybe tried to win it next year. <laughs> I would boot everyone else, obviously. Really? I love that. A sore loser. Loser got drunk and then had a fight. Excellent! You can take the man out of Scouser Land, but you can't take the Scouser out of the man. Yeah, best new festival last year and uh, yeah, be best medium-sized festival again for best of all this year. So, yeah, very chuffed. How, like, last year the weather was not so good, which is not your fault. How much do you think the weather plays a part in sort of people's experience of a festival? Uh, yeah, I do think it plays a part. I mean, I, I, do, yeah, I don't know what went wrong last year because even though the weather was terrible, people had an amazing time. This year we had beautiful sun and we had a you know, good line-up and yeah, it was, a, it was a wicked festival. We had the best year we've had for Bestival and Camp Festival and you know, we, we, yeah, we had it off. Who are the surprise winners this year? Beach Break getting the double was absolutely brilliant, really happy for them. Yeah. Um, and Lee Fest, probably the biggest underdog of the whole competition, came through. That she belongs to Michael Evis, but uh, you know, you've got to look after the little guy every now and again. What does it mean winning this award? It means that we're the best grassroots festival 2009, <laughs> uh, thanks to the UK Festival Awards. But to us, even though there's a lot of people in that room who don't know who we are, uh, this means a lot to our team. It means a lot to our, uh, the people who actually voted because a lot of them got in contact with us personally about getting tickets and coming to the event and we're a big family so I think this will mean a lot to people, you know. Best lineup, L L was it Lounge? Lounge on the Farm as well, yeah, absolutely, that was a fantastic one. I don't, I don't understand, I'm not being funny, like we had a lot of big like name acts this yeah. year. How the hell did, was it Edwin Collins and Crafty Cuts and... Roots Maneuver. Roots Maneuver, steal that from Lady Gaga? It's all relative. What, what do you mean? It's relative to the resources that the festival has and we, I mean, there, there were some big ones in the yeah, in the finals for that, but we felt that um, you know, on, on purely on on the budget they had available for them, Lounge on the Farm pulled it out of the bag you know, more than e even any of the biggest ones in terms of what they pulled together. And for such a tiny festival with you know so few resources, they they did fantastically. So that's that's why they got that award. What's in store for 2010? Nobody knows. But rest assured, people, the plan is already in the making because somewhere in South London, there's a room full of drunk festival promoters already mulling over the possibilities. Yeah!